Annabelle Creation is a 2017 supernatural horror film and is directed by David F. Sandberg and stars Stephanie Sigma, Anthony LaPaglia, and Miranda Otto, and also stars Lulu Wilson. Now, this is the fourth installment in the Conjuring Universe franchise and is a prequel to the 2014 spin-off prequel hit to The Conjuring, Annabelle. Yeah, so this is called Annabelle Creation. Uh, I didn't like the way they, you know, uh, kind of picked that name for it, like Creation. Okay, well, we find out how the origin started of Annabelle the Doll. What went into the possession of it, what happened to it, and the aspects of how a doll maker is, you know kind of loses his daughter and makes this doll uh the aspect of how everything is is that with the young orphans going on the children that are involved and if you didn't know david f sandberg is the director of the horror film lights out which was based on his short horror film of the same name now when i heard david f sandberg was directing this film i was like okay i have high hopes for it I wasn't disappointed at all. There are some instances where the CGI is a little wonky at times, especially when the um, Anthony LaPaglia or a priest is killed in this. Uh, it's just very different and how, you know, could be differently done. Miranda Otto is absolutely amazing in this film. And um, it's just really interesting for the aspect. The film takes place in an interesting time and universe you would think that it takes place in certain times no there are three aspects to when this movie takes place there are so many different iterations of it it takes place in 1943 1956 and 1957 so three um years it takes place in and the way things are done the aspect of how when you're watching it the jump scares there are amazing jump scares there are amazing cinematography aspects to it where the little girl is thrust into the dark. We don't know what happened to her. Her shoes fall, or her boots fall down, and then she falls down. The possession aspect to it is just really interesting. A doll possessing young kids, it's just really, really, like, crazy. The film did falter a little bit at certain times with not moving the story forward a little bit, uh, just trying to play process to certain aspects of how the doll is here, how it's not here, someone believing a young girl that the doll is doing something when they're not believing it typical horror trope of trying to get the you know the child to believe you what did save this movie immensely is the ending which takes place 12 years later where after being involved in kind of a devil worship so to speak the grown-up annabelle returns home and murders her adoptive parents there's like a panic it's like why does this person look familiar it's the same actress who played in the Annabelle movie, but then all of a sudden, it awakens the neighbor, Mia Form, who is Annabelle Wallace. Annabelle Wallace appears in this in a cameo role at the end, who warns her husband, John, about, you know, their neighbor screaming. We didn't know what it was in the first Annabelle film, but they connected it with this one. That saved this movie tremendously, and I was really shocked at how they connected it. Very tough for horror films to connect previous films for that matter, especially how the story grows and pro progresses, but it was really well done. The design of Annabelle looked interesting and creepy. Seeing the creation of it was good. Uh, you know, it was done differently. I could have picked a different title for it, but you know, the directing by David F. Sandberg was great and it really, really flowed and it worked in the Conjuring universe. For me, Annabelle Creation gets three out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Annabelle Creation. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What do you think about the aspects of the jump scares, the story? Did you like the directing of David F. Sandberg? And what did you think about the ending of the film being connected to the very first Annabelle movie? Did that throw you for a loop or did you think that actually did save the movie? Like I said, in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And I'll also leave a link in the description box below to my review of Annabelle. You can check it out. And I'll see you all in the next review video.